name's Michael Grinder. I hate to tell you this, they're coming. What do we mean by them and coming? We're going from this with a computer and this is how you communicate. Now you could be the recipient or you could be the sender, but this is how you were communicating. It's not gonna be like that. What's the difference? It's huge, if I may. You got away with wearing a variety of things. If you're the recipient, you could wear something casual like this. If you were the sender, a lot of times you could get away with business casual. We're going back in person. We're back to a little more formal in terms of what's going on. June 20th through the 24th, Portland, Oregon. We teach you presentation skills. Now, it could be a formal presentation skill, such as you're in charge of whatever's going on, or it could be you're just a member. How you stand, how you appear, how you sit is going to make all the difference in the world and very different from how we've been communicating previously. Want to know the difference? Come see us, Portland, Oregon. What are you going to walk away with? Here's a picture of pre-COVID Scandinavian country. The person who's waving, the female, that's the uh, prime minister. Look at all the people, how they stand, how you appear. Now, if you notice, the majority of people have their hands at their side, except for one person over here. One person, Secretary of Education. How you stand makes a huge difference. Here's some of the best rugby players in Australia. Look how they're standing. Fig leaf, uh-uh. How you stand, how you sit, whether you're a participant or you're the presenter, it makes all the difference in the world. So if I may, the difference between when you were doing Zoom and in person is everything is enlarged. Group dynamics are enlarged. Your face, your voice, hand gestures. Whew, you didn't have to do any hand gestures when you're on Zoom. Now you have to figure out, is my palm up? Is it sideways? Is it down? And that makes a huge difference. You're the presenter. Whether it be a PowerPoint or a flip chart, whiteboard, how you communicate is more important than it used to be in Zoom. Why? On Zoom, you just flood the whole screen with content. Uh -uh. You're part of the process as you deliver the content. Example, what's the difference? If I point to this, but I keep my eyes on you, you won't look where my hand is. My hand becomes useless. But if my eye and hand go together, ah, people follow me. I have to understand I am my product when I'm in person. So when we get together for five days, lots and lots of practice, you're gonna understand the difference between when you work in-house and when you work public. In-house, people know you. Public, uh-uh, uh-uh. You've got to make sure that you create the receptivity that you need from them. There's an interplay between the content, the process, and whether you have permission or receptivity from them. Please understand, how do you increase their receptivity? It's no longer based on content, it's based on you. So that's why we have three focuses for our June 20th through the 24th program. Charismatic leadership, presentation skills, and group dynamics. They interplay like crazy. Each year we choose one that we wanna especially emphasize. This year, it's gotta be presentation skills. Why? They're coming. They're going to be in person. Please understand, how do you deliver content that is volatile? How do you handle people that disagree with you? How do you handle difficult personalities? In person, you can't hide. And the other thing that I think is so important, there's no post-production. Live is live. You do all your preparation, get in there, make sure you're ready and deliver your content. Now, if I may, 
Is this just for presenters? No, you're at a committee meeting. What? You're on a committee. They're talking about whether we should do something in maybe August or in October. You favor October. How do you communicate that? Do you just say, I really think we should do it in October? Compare that with going like this. I think we should do it, pause. In October, pause. And bring your hand back straight. That is so important. Why? If I say, I think we should, and then pause. Anything I say after that increases in significance. October, then keep your hand still. Why? Sink it into their unconscious mind. What a difference it makes. Michael Grinder, Group Dynamics, Portland, Oregon, June 20th through the 24th. They're coming. <laughs>